Hi friends, in this segment we are going to see the poem The Solitary Reaper. This poem The Solitary Reaper by William Wordsworth is written as a recollection of an overwhelming emotional experience. It is about the song sung by a solitary reaper. Solitary means lonely. The solitary reaper was singing and doing her work without minding anyone. But the poet was observing her mesmerized by the song. He compares her song to that of Nightingale and the Cuckoo Bird. Still, he states that her song is the best. Despite, the poet understands that it is a song of melancholy. Melancholy means sad. The poet listens until he left that place, but the song never left him. Even after a long time, he has come away from that place, he says he could still listen. The song continued to echo in his heart long after it is heard no more. The beautiful experience left a deep impact and gave him a long-lasting pleasure. In the first stanza of The Solitary Reaper, Wordsworth describes how the reaper was singing all alone. During one of his journeys in the countryside of Scotland, he saw a highland girl working in the field all alone. She had no one to help her out in the field, so she was singing to herself. She was singing without knowing that someone was listening to her song. The poet doesn't want to disturb her solitude, so he was requesting the passerby people to go without disturbing her. She was immersed in her work of cutting and binding while singing a melancholy song. The poet is struck by the sad beauty of her song that the whole valley seems to be overflowing with her sound. Coming to the second stanza, No nightingale did ever chant more welcome notes to weary bands of travellers in some shady hand. Among Arabian sands, a voice so thrilling never was heard in springtime from the cuckoo bat, breaking the silence of the seas among the farthest hybrids. In the second stanza of the solitary reaper, the poet compares the young woman's song with nightingale and cuckoo. They are the most celebrated birds by the writers, poets for the sweetness of their voice. But he is telling that neither Nightingale nor the Cuckoo sang a song that is as sweet as her song. He says that no Nightingale has sung the song so soothing or consoling, comforting for the weary travellers. Because the girl has stopped him from doing his works. He is utterly enchanted that he says that her voice is so thrilling and penetrable like that of the Cuckoo Bat, which sings to break the silence in the islands. He symbolically puts forth that her voice is so melodious and more than that of the two birds known for their voice. In the third stanza, Will no one tell me what she sings? Perhaps the plaintive numbers flow for old, unhappy, far off things and battles long ago. Or is it some more humble lay, familiar matter of today, some natural sorrow, loss or pain that has been and may be again? In the third stanza of The Solitary Reaper, the poet depicts his plight over not understanding the language or the Scottish dialect in which the reaper was singing. He states that maybe her song is about her past sorrow, pain or loss of old things. Maybe her song may be about the sadness of war. So that is why she is singing the sad song by reminding her past. In the last stanza, whatever the theme the maiden sang, as if her song could have no ending, I saw her singing at her work, and over the sickle bending, I listened motionless and still, and as I mounted up the hill, the music in my heart I bore, long after it was heard no more. In the final stanza, the poet comes to a conclusion that, whatever may be the theme of her poem, it is not going to end. Not only her song, but also her suffering bounds like a never-ending one. He stays there without any movement and listens to her song. Even when he left and mounted up the hill, he could still hear her voice there. She was cutting and binding. Even though the poet left that place, the song remained in his heart long after he heard that song. In this poem, the poet has described about the sadness of a solitary reaper and the sweetness of her song. I hope you have understood this poem. See you in the next video. Stay tuned with Landing Station for further videos. Thank you.